the TV. So Tyson Fury, he thinks all he's going to do is, since he can't do his, his fight in December 5th, shout out to uh, Errol Spence and Danny Garcia for their fight taking place in December 5th. Um, but Tyson Fury, all he's saying he wants to do is he's going to smash Deontay Wilder's face in, in this third fight real quick. And then he's going to fight uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, that's just insane, you know. Dude's talking out the side of his neck so hard. Deontay Wilder's going to smash this, man. I'm telling you on everything. Deontay Wilder, I mean, Tyson Fury can't cheat, and they're going to test this man hella for the steroids and PEDs. He's going to get sued so hard if he even dare tries to cheat in this third fight. I guarantee it because this is... This has gotten to the point where the establishment can try to fixate something, but it won't work because too many people are already doing their own shit on their own time and on their own merit. So Tyson Fury can't cheat in his third fight. And if he does, I mean, I'm telling you, like, it's just going to, all hell's going to break loose. You know, but this third fight is taking place. We know it's going to happen. And. Tyson Fury, he's, he's got mental issues, you know. Uh, I'm not bashing this guy and being disrespectful. I'm being real. He literally is the one who went on this morning and said that Deontay Wilder has mental issues, right? But I'm telling you as a viewer and as a boxing fan, what I'm witnessing is there's something going on cognitively with Tyson Fury right now that is on a downhill slate. I'm not liking it. I'm not feeling it. The vibration is off. Um, he thinks he's just going to smash Deontay Wilder's face in like he did in the second fight before he, um, you know, and then recently he announced that he never wants to have this trilogy rematch. How did he smash Wilder's face in in the second fight? With all that cheating, you know, the HGH, the metal slate inside of his glove, the glove flipping in the other hand, the knuckles through the, through the wrist part. You know what I'm saying? All types of stuff. The back rabbit, the rabbit hits in the back of the head. I mean, you can go on and on. He smashed his face in, left that dent in his skull, in the upper mandible. I mean, come on, Tyson Fury. Like, I'm telling you, it's not going to be like that in this third fight. I'm going to give you all my prediction for this trilogy fight. This is the MCTV prediction. Deontay Wilder is going to pretty much give Tyson Fury the bronze bomb and it's going to be over with point blank simple that's how this fight is going to go down and he's, after that you can try to fight Anthony Joshua that's cool Anthony Joshua already lost to Andy Ruiz shout out to uh, Andy Ruiz for knocking the hell out of Anthony Joshua don't take me the wrong way for saying that but I tried to like Anthony but he talks too much shit about Wilder and has not can't step up to the plate and face him like a man. But shout out to uh, Andy Ruiz for becoming the first uh, heavyweight Mexican champion of the world uh, by defeating, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua in the ring. Um, yeah, um, Deontay Wilder said he might want to face uh, Andy Ruiz. That'd be a nice fight. But yeah, back to Tyson Fury and uh, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, he can't cheat. So guess what? He's going to get knocked out. De Deontay Wilder's been ready. It has been training this entire time. That everyone thought he was running and doing this and that. I mean, look. Subscribe to my channel, MCTV. Um, you'll be hearing more from me soon about this. Um, like this video. Comment down below on what you think about Tyson Fury not being able to cheat in his third uh, trilogy rematch that is going to take place.